What's going on, gamers? Today, we are going to go over how to install and use the Combat Log X Minecraft plugin. Hosting Minecraft servers usually comes with player combat, but with that comes problems like a player leaving mid-fight to cause issues like robbing a killer of their loot. Solving this is done through something like Combat Log X, a bucket plugin used to prevent players from leaving combat without a penalty and more, protecting your players and ensuring a fair fight. To start the download and installation process, first head to Combat Log X on Spigot and press download now, and then save the plugin zip file somewhere easily accessible to use in just a minute. After that, head towards your Apex server panel Make sure you're running a plugin compatible version like Paper or Spigot, and then stop the server. And after that, you can click FTP file access in the top left, log in, and enter the plugins folder. Press upload, and then on the next page, you can drag and drop the zip file into the upload area. And once this reaches 100%, return into the plugins directory, check mark the new file, and press unzip in the top right corner. Continue to submit the changes, and then when that's done, you can return to the main panel and restart the server. After that, just join your server and use the forward slash plugins command to confirm if it was installed correctly. Blue Slime Core is the required plugin for this, which was uploaded in the zip file, so you should see both when you run the command. We are going to go over this plugin and some of its features, but for a detailed description, you can also check out their wiki page. Most of the features are backend, and they will happen in the config files instead of using commands, so keep that in mind as we move on. As the plugin name suggests, the main functionality is preventing players from leaving combat. By default, this is enabled with a few other configurable features that might help your server. The normal amount of time preventing players from logging out is 10 seconds, and it would punish the players by dropping all of their items if they leave before that. Combat Log X is also installed with expansions, which are enabled by default to provide more content on your server. These can range from player combat glow to the status scoreboard. There's a large amount of expansions, so we won't be able to review them all, but here are a few of the popular ones that might help your server's battle system. With the rewards expansion, when you kill a player or a specific mob, automatic commands are executed to give the player a diamond or another item, if you configure it. Server owners can set up multiple rewards for certain situations, making it an almost endless amount of possibilities. Reverse rewards also could be created to punish players too, meaning you can take away in-game money after killing a villager or another blacklisted mob. Loot protection is a simplistic yet important one for your players. After a battle, the victor can't pick up the loot for 30 seconds by default. For example, if a player logs out mid-combat, it gives them time to get back in for a short amount of time to remedy the situation. And with Newbie Helper, when someone joins, they can't be attacked for 30 seconds by other players, but they can be by mobs. That being said, as soon as the new player attacks, the protection goes away. This expansion also controls the toggle PvP command, giving everyone a chance to prevent combat for a specified amount of time. To access some of the expansion files, head towards your Apex server panel and enter back into the FTP file access, log in, and then head towards the plugins directory. After that, click on Combat Log X and continue to the expansions folder, and from here you can view all of the add-on folders and edit their config YML files. After editing the file, press save at the top and then restart the server from the main panel. Just like other plugins, Combat Log X has permission nodes for players to access abilities or commands. You can use a plugin like Luckperms to manage these permissions, or you can become a server operator to use all of the commands right away. Here is a list of all of the commands and the permissions you might need in order to use them. To get to the plugin's configuration files, head towards your FTP file access, log in, and then head into the plugins directory and then into the combat log x folder. From here, press edit on the config YML file, make your changes and then click save at the top. And then you can return to the main panel to restart the server 
or you can use the CLX reload command in game to apply the edits. If the plugin seems to be working fine, but you're unable to use commands, you might not have the correct permissions. Every player must have permissions set to use commands, or you'll have to be set as a server operator. If you want to disable any features that you don't want used on your server, this is going to require either a command or a setting change depending on the type. For example, if you want to remove the scoreboard, then you can use the CLX toggle scoreboard command. For other ones, they should have a toggle option in their configuration file, even if it's an expansion. You could also just completely delete the expansion jar file and then restart the server. Combat Log X is a great server plugin that owners can use to have more control over the PvP going on in their server. It gives your players a chance at fair fights while also protecting others and their loot at the same time. That's all for this one, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our future videos. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.